hello friends welcome back in this video we are going to talk about what is richardson maturity model so if you want to sell if you want to tell simply richardson maturity model evaluating how effective you are constructing your endpoint url that is uniform resource identifier your endpoint url is a uniform resource identifier how we are effectively constructing that particular endpoint url for your web services okay it has um, four levels level 0 level 1 level 2 and level 3 level 0 is nothing but if you have let's say you have a um, web services that implemented using soap if you want to convert all the soap web service to rest style i want to convert all soap web service endpoint to rest style that is called as a level 0 for example here i mentioned your server.com add employee your server.com remove employee this is something kind of um, restful uri but still this endpoint are not dealing with the resource it's dealing with the action add employee means it's a action right i am adding new employee remove employee means i am removing it's a some action remove is action i am removing employee that particular words saying that action this is not a complete restful but, but we, are, we are following something uh, in a rest style that is called as a level 0 second one is a level 1 what is a level 1 level creating a rest service using proper resource identification now you are thinking about a resource instead of the action if you look at this example URI your server.com employees that is you want to view employees you want to view all employees or you want to delete all employees employees slash 20 here I can say employee slash 20 if you if you are referring any resource from your uh, server that should be the plural okay that is a good practice Okay, employees mean you are referring all the employees in that employee I want to view one employee called 20 or I want to delete one employee called 20 I or I want to update one employee called 20 here we are thinking about the resources right in this through this through this endpoint we are referring a one resource and under what you, uh, uh, on that resource you can do any action that is uh, in, in the case of employees um, employees endpoint I can view employees all or remove all employees in the second endpoint employee slash 20 i can view employee 20 or update employee 20 or date employee 20 so we are constructing a one endpoint i can apply multiple action on that particular endpoint that is the level one here something we are following we are uh, restful here that is called as a richardson level one maturity model then third one is a level two in the level two here uh, creating a risk service with a proper resource identification with correct http method that is called as a level two in the case of level one we are thinking only resource but while doing while performing some action we are not thinking about what kind of http method we want to use that part we are not thinking in the level one but in the level two we have started thinking about the about the action plus the right http method on the resource for example get your server.com slash employees means i can get employees or i can remove all employees using that particular endpoint for example say um, your server dot employees means I'm, if you pass a get means I can view all the employees employees slash 20 here also I I'll make it yes yes level 2 we are thinking about a resource plus what kind of HTTP method we need to use on that resource while viewing all employee I want to use right HTTP method that is a get while deleting that employee i want to use right http method that is a delete method while creating an employee i want to use a right http method that is post method so in the case of level two 
we are using proper resource identification plus proper HTTP method that is called as a level 2. In the level 3, we are going one, one level advanced. Level 2, already we are using perfect resource identification with the proper HTTP method. But in the case of level 3, one more advanced, one more level advanced we are going. That is called as Hattios. For example, in the case of Facebook, okay, I am posting on, I am adding on post in the Facebook. That post can like, by, uh, many people can like, many people can share, many people can unlike, any action people can do that on the post right so whenever retrieve that post i want a retrieve related to that post here in the level 3 not dealing with only uh, weaving or uh, manipulating a resource on that level 3 not dealing with manipulating on the resource like uh, view delete update apart from manipulation that level 3 uh, bring some additional information related to that particular resource in the case of Facebook, when I post a link, when I post a message, whenever I retrieve that post, that retrieves how many people likes, how many people share. That is related to that post, right? If you want to implement uh, such an operation, we have to use level 3. Level 3. Level 3 is using proper resource identification, proper HTTP method and it retrieves related to that particular resource for example when you want to view employee when you want to view employee along with that employee employee uh, resource i want to provide a one more link view all employees something like that okay that is called as a level three uh, this is a quick video i want to tell about um, a richardson maturity model this might be helpful for your interview question something like that but um, that is the reason I am posting this video. I think that's it. I think most of the REST web service related uh, post I have com completed as part of Spring Boot course. From the next video onwards, I will going to uh, provide uh, some um, good topics part of uh, Spring Boot. Okay. Until then, bye bye from Fresh Cashier. Please subscribe if you are not yet, share this video to your friend circle, click bell icon for regular updates. Thank you so much for watching this full video. Until next video, bye bye from Suresh Kesavan.